In this lecture, I am going to explain to you about the demand schedule. Okay. Now, we know that there are certain factors which affect demand. Let's take our lovely example of rice. Okay. So what will happen is that, let's say, on one side I have the price, on the other side I have the quantity, and let me also put in the month. Let's say I take Jan, Feb, March. The price of rice was, let's say, 50 rupees price per kg. 50 in January, 40 in February, and 60 in March. Again, quantity is per kilogram. At 50 rupees, our dear friend, Mr. X, was very happy. He bought 5 kg of rice. In February, when the price went down, he said, well, I'll buy 8. Again, next month the price increased, so he said, I'll buy only 3. And some stock from here can be used to replenish this. This tabulation, or putting it in a tabular form, the quantity of good which a person is willing to buy at different prices during a given period of time is called as the demand schedule. So demand schedule refers to a tabular presentation. Tabular means in a table format of various quantities of given goods at different prices that consumer buys during given period of time. So what I did was, whatever quantity he was willing to buy at various prices during a given period, I've just put it in the form of a table. And this is known as demand schedule. Now, if you form this particular demand schedule on a graph, okay, wherein you put quantity on the x-axis and the price on the y-axis. I guess I need to use a different scale here. And let the price be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now let's start plotting these points out here. So 5 kilograms at 50 rupees. So 5 kilogram is here, price is 50. 8 kilograms at 40. 8 kilograms is here, say the price is 40. 3 kilograms when the price is 60. 3 kilograms when the price is 60. Now when you join these points, the line which is formed is known as the demand curve. A demand curve under normal circumstances and other factors remaining the constant is normally downward sloping towards the right. Why? Because this shows that with every fall in prices, the quantity of goods which a consumer buys keeps on increasing. So the quantity is referred on this side, and the price is referred this side. So as the price keeps on falling, 
the quantity keeps on increasing.